Pessoal, tudo bem? Aqui é o Marcos em mais um vídeo e para esse aqui eu quero falar sobre um aplicativo que eu venho usando há muito tempo. Ele é um sistema de listas de pendências. Você coloca lá coisas que você quer fazer e você depois vai concluindo essas coisas. Ele chama Wonderlist, depois vocês podem procurar na Play Store ou na Apple Store. Eu uso ele para várias finalidades e ultimamente eu estou usando ele porque eu fiz uma lista de inglês, é tipo um diário, com coisas que estão no meu dia a dia, coisas usuais. Eu acordo, tomo banho, tomo café, preparo meu lanche para levar para o trabalho, pego ônibus, metrô, trem, enfim, trabalho e à noite eu volto para casa. Quando eu saio do trabalho à noite, eu faço uma caminhada de uma hora, mais ou menos, quase todo dia. E eu aproveito para falar em inglês e escutar alguma coisa. Quando eu estou falando, eu pego esse aplicativo, eu ligo o celular e eu vou dando um checklist nas coisas que eu vou falar. Então, por exemplo, assim, eu começo lá, hoje de manhã eu fiz tal coisa, concluído. Aí, depois eu fui para o ponto de ônibus, concluído. Depois peguei o ônibus, conversei com o motorista. Então, isso me ajuda a exercitar. Um minuto falando, tá bem? Esse aplicativo, ele tem tanto no meu celular, que eu uso para gravar o vídeo, quanto no meu tablet, que está na minha mão. Eu vou falar um pouco sobre ele. Esse vídeo vai ser um pouco maior do que os convencionais. Estou girando a chave e começarei a falar inglês em 3, 2, 1, 0. Hello fellas, this is Marcus, one more time in one more video. I'm quite sure that you know me. Actually, I'm totally sure that you know me. To be honest, I am massively sure that you know me. But perhaps you don't know me. It might happen, it's normal. So if you don't know me, I'm going to introduce myself to you, okay? I'm Marcus, I'm from Brazil, specifically talking, I'm from Sao Paulo, and I'm a guy with 37 years old and I'm here to try to figure out a way to improve my English as a second language. My native language, my mother language is Portuguese and I went to have an exchange abroad, then I came back to Brazil and since that, that time I kept studying in English and I'm keeping until now, I'm studying English every single day, you know, I can't remember um, if sometime I stopped studying English. Every single day, I try at least, you know, um, at least listen to some podcasts, for example, perhaps some music, but keeping attention in the lyric to try translate it inside of my mind. I as well read many books and I watch to many series, many TV shows and documentaries and films as well. And in every situation, I try find out a way to improve my English, to achieve some better place, you know, because I'm kind of ambitious with my English and it's fine, you know, it's really fine, at least to me. I have met a lot of people that actually they don't agree with me and it's normal as well, but I discovered a personal way, you know, a self-taught way to try figure out a way to improve my English and I am hoping that it will help me with my English. I'm quite ambitious, as I told you, you know, I used to say it because I really think like that, okay? So, I started this video talking in Portuguese because I'm Brazilian, as I said, and I want to show respect to my people, you know? When I started this project, I thought that it was going to be just something small and I didn't figure out at that time that I would like to have a, a huge audience, you know? Uh, a big audience, but you know, I don't have it yet and I don't hope to have in the future But I believe that uh, a couple of people are following me, you know, and almost all of them are Brazilian and I'm Brazilian as well So I think that the better thing to do is to show respect to my people and a friend of mine told me Marcos, you I think that you need to start your videos talking in Portuguese because I'm Brazilian and I can't understand anything at all that you are talking about. So, it's important to have it on mind, you know, to show respect and to do the side project, but in the even time, you know, to embrace a, a huge audience, you know, at least your friends, I'm talking about myself, so my friends, okay, that's fine. And I was talking about the subject of this specific video, but before I go straight to the point, I want to talk that this video, I think, I hope, and I will try, make this video 
and longer than the usual videos because I started this project making videos about five minutes but sometimes it gets more or less seven minutes then sometimes 10 minutes and so forth but for this video I thought that it would be much more useful to me to talk more time in English okay because five minutes it's great but I'm quite ambitious I'm really ambitious I'm massively ambitious with English I'm not talking about money even though I want to have more money of course I think that almost everybody wants to have more money but here now in this moment I'm talking about ambitious in the language ESL English as a second language okay so I'm really ambitious and I want to work hard harder than I'm working right now harder than I worked before you know because for me this is my personal opinion I really believe that if we all work hard and it doesn't matter in each field of life in career in uh, gym in you know personal self-thought it doesn't matter if we want to get better with something we need to work harder harder each day harder than the last day you know it works I really believe that perhaps I'm totally wrong you know it might happen as well but I really believe that I hope that and I'm going to work like that to have a really good English I want to be almost perfect if it's possible you know and I'm to get a different accent I, I want many things for this reason I started this personal project because I'm really ambitious with my English okay so I talked a little bit about the time it will be longer okay don't be afraid be aware because I advised you before fine and I showed my tablet I have here my tablet I talked about as well my um, mobile phone but I can't show you my mobile phone because I'm recording this video using my mobile phone and I talked about one app I'm quite sure that it has for Android because I'm using Android and it has for iPhone as well for Apple okay it might be um, iPhone or iPad and so forth so this application is a kind of to-do list we may do a lot of lists things that we want to do in the future and then we may do a kind of check to finish it okay and I discovered a couple of days ago a different way actually I didn't discover a new thing I just thought I was you know doing anything and I realized that I would try to find out a different way you know I read some article on internet perhaps on some magazine newspaper and so forth I can't remember exactly the place that I read it but I read some article that was talking our brain generally speaking it's needed to be puzzled it needs to be confused sometimes you know because if we do same things every single day in the same way our brain won't work better because it will get lazy you know for this reason we need to figure out new drills new exercises you know just to test our brain so for this reason I thought that I would do something different to improve my English I'm doing this sort of personal project I'm keeping it you know but when I went out of the office after my job every single day I do a walking it is about one hour perhaps a little bit more perhaps less but almost every single day I do some walk I walk in on the streets and when I do that I enjoy to do one more thing because I may get a good shaped body but in the even time I may improve my English and while I'm walking I listen to some podcasts for example 
I enjoy listening to BBC podcast. I enjoy listening to ESL pod. I enjoy listening to Teacher Luke. It's really good, fun. So those three podcasts are the podcasts for my day to day. Of course, that I have a list with many more podcasts, but these three I'm listening to almost every single day in my free time. And but sometimes I do some records. I record myself talking in English, asking questions, for example. Then after I recorded it, I put it on my mobile phone and I plug my ears phones. And while I am walking on the street, I listen to myself and I answer to myself to improve my communication, to improve my dialogues and so forth. So these sort of things are good as well. They are helping me. I discovered, I perceived one day, many time ago, I was talking with someone in English and I could have a really good conversation. I could do myself understandable and I could understand the other one. So it was quite fine quite 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 fine really fine you know and i will keep that so but i have more things to do sometimes i listen to i answer to myself i reply myself and sometimes i just think in english sometimes i speak out without a subject you know just to do some drill some speaking drill some listen drill and so on so a couple of days ago, I discovered in this application named Wonderlist that I may do a list in English, a kind of diary with checklist, checkbox, you know? And then when I go out of the office, I can walk in, see these lists with checkbox, and I can check the box, you know, about things that I did in my whole day, for example. My day, actually, usual, they are like that. I wake up, I take a shower, I have a breakfast, then I prepare my snacks to bring to the office, to take to the office. Then I go out of home, then I walk from my house to the bus stop, then I got the bus, then I I get the bus, then I get the train, then I walk a little bit more, then I reach the office, then I work, then I go to have lunch, then I go back to the office, then I work more, then I went out of the office, then I do my walking for one hour, perhaps a little bit, perhaps a little more, and then I reach the underground station and I take a train, and then I need to change to take other train after some time. Then I go to the station to take a bus. And then I arrive home. Then I take other shower. And then I have uh, a meal. Sometimes I eat a bread. Sometimes I eat a fruit. Sometimes I have dinner. It depends of the hour. Sometimes I have uh, a soup, you know, a super and so forth. And then finally, I go bed, I listen to some podcasts, some music, and then I take my book and I try to read some pages and then I finally sleep. This is my normal, my regular routine. I have this kind of routine almost every single day. From Monday to Friday, because on the weekend, my routine is totally different. Sometimes I go cycling, sometimes I go riding my car, sometimes I go to the city century to see some shops, to buy some stuff. Sometimes I go to my sister's house to see her, to see my niece, to see my nephew. Sometimes I go to my brother's house to see him as well and I have other brother and sometimes I go there to see him as well because each one lives in a specific house in a, uh, a house that they uh, bought or hired and so forth okay so 
this is my regular routine and I'm going to talk about that right now because I have a list here on my lap, on my tablet and I would like to share it with you, you know? I'm not going to talk specifically about my routine but I want to talk about this list this way that it's covered to talk in English, to try figure out a way to improve my English as I was saying to you, okay? So let's try to explain it better. So I took it here, I have here my tablet on my hands. So the first thing, it's a, a bit different. The orders here are different, but don't be afraid, okay? So at first I put here, going to the bed. So I will check the box. So, I will talk about the last night I arrived home, I was tired and when I arrived, normally I go to, to take a shower but I was really, really, really tired so I preferred to go to eat something so I prepared some bread with mayonnaise, with carrot, sliced carrot and ham as well so then I prepared a juice uh, a really good juice, okay? So then I went to my living room, I switched on the TV and I put on YouTube, I put some clips, some videos, then I sat down and I stayed there for some time, eating my bread, watching some videos and drinking my juice. Okay? It was about my routine when I arrived home. Really good because, you know, you perceive that. Do you perceive that? It's fine. Do you get that? Okay. So, then I went to take a shower and then I went to the bed. Then, when I lay down on my bed, I just stayed calm, tranquil. Just, just organizing my thoughts and that was fine. Then I took my book on my hand and I have my book here on my bookshelf. I, I'm going to show you. This book I showed it before, I think so, I'm not sure, but it doesn't matter. It's not the importance of the video, okay? Then I read some pages and I felt tired and I got sleeping. Good and watching TV, the next subject. I watched uh, YouTube, but I didn't watch the normal TV. I don't have anymore here at home cable TV. You know, here in Brazil, we have lots of channels, but I'm really sure that no one watches many of them. But we pay for it, many money, it isn't cheaper. And for this reason, I preferred to avoid this sort of cable TV. I really prefer to watch Netflix sometimes, sometimes YouTube, or sometimes I just read some article, or sometimes I listen to and I read to in the same time some audiobook. That's great as well, okay? so. I'm not watching TV, cable TV anymore. And I am saving money doing that, okay? Next subject, writing. That is a good one. I really adore to write. And I have here on my bookshelf a small notebook. It's here on my hand. So I have many thoughts, many ideas, and sometimes when I arrive home, I try to write something. I'm going to show you, I have here my hand script and sometimes I just write some pages, okay? That's good, it's a kind of diary as well, but on this I'm writing strange things, I, I shall say, I'm writing strange things, really, yeah. I'm being totally fair right here. And what kind of uh, strange things? I have many thoughts, okay? And I was reading a book about psychology, about psychoanalysis, and this book was trying to show the readers about to go deep inside of the mind and inside of the soul. 
So I started digging, 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 you know, to reach my bottom. And I think that I, I reached my bottom. And I'm discovering many things without sense, lots of pieces of information from my past, of my present, and perhaps a kind of prediction about my future. And I'm writing these sort of things. Perhaps I'm getting crazy, you know? Or perhaps I'm just in writing out things that are inside of me and I want to put them out of me. It's totally normal, as I think. It's my personal opinion, of course. I'm not a specialist, I'm not a psychologist and so forth. I'm just a designer, okay? And that's fine. So, one more thing that I put it here. Can you see that? Can you see that? A lot of information, a lot of subjects to talk about, you know? Just doing a list because it's good, you know? It's good. It's a kind of a script to study in English. Fine. I really believe that you, in some way, will agree with me. Yeah, because that is right. That's really cool. And the next subject I have here. Listen to music. So, I want to talk about the music that I listened in the last day. I listened, you know, in on Friday, okay? So, I discovered a couple of weeks ago a Japanese um, musician, a pianist, and he is named, his name is Shigeru uma beige something like that i can't pronounce it right japanese but then uh, i may see it again and pronounce it better so he is a pianist he's a really skillful player and his songs are really good really deep you know with lots of emotion and this guy is really funny a lot of uh, director, film director in Asia, I'm talking about China, Korea, Japan, a lot of film director, they go to talk with this guy to ask him to make songs to the films because this guy is really, really skillful, as I said, okay? Other subject. And I have more here, dreaming. Sometimes I have a lot of dreams when I go to the bed and when I get sleeping. And sometimes when I wake up, I remember my dreams. Sometimes not. But many times I can remember. And when I remember then, I speak about them. But in the last night, I can't remember if I had some dream. I think that I didn't have because I was really tired. If I had, I just can't remember then in this moment, okay? The next point, I'm going to talk about one more thing here. Having nightmares. Sometimes I have dreams, but in the other hand, sometimes I have nightmares. And it's really complicated because I live alone. I don't have any relative here at home. I don't have a wife yet. And I don't have a son, I don't have a daughter, I don't have a, a brother or sister, I don't have siblings living here with me, I just live by myself alone. So, sometime when I have a nightmare, it's so complicated because I need to wake up, I need to switch on all lights, okay? And then I need to stay calm, to think about a good matter, another subject, to clean my mind of the nightmare that I had. It's complicated, but it happened. I believe that it happens with many people and with me as well. Next point, waking up. So when I wake up, I have some kind of morning routine and I talk about that on my speaking drills. For example, today, today it's Saturday, so I woke up late because I was tired, I went to the bed late and I slept. I keep 
been sleeping for many hours. I can't precisely talk about that. But when I woke up, I was still lazy. I was still tired. And I went to do my laundry. Yeah, you know that when we live alone, we need to do everything. And I had many, many clothes to do the laundry. And I did two machines of clothes, okay? And I need to do more. I have many more clothes to do the laundry. Then I didn't take a breakfast yet, but I had a juice. I prepared a really cup, a big cup of juice and I drank it and I'm fine. But in a few minutes, I'm going to have a breakfast, perhaps a brunch, because now it's not time to breakfast anymore and it isn't yet the time to have lunch, okay? Next one, I have one more subject here, getting ready to go to the work. So, I have a morning routine, I go to take a shower and I stay there for some minutes, then I go out, I take my deodorant, then I put on my cologne and not a perfume, I talked about that before and I'm quite sure that you remember that perfume is for ladies and colognes they are for men good did you get the point i hope so and i put it on my pants and pants are underwear in Brit britain okay in britain pants are underwear in the us underwear is underwear but in britain trousers are pants and us pants are trousers okay so i'm talking about a, a european way because i went to have my exchange program in dublin as you know and i'm not going to talk about that right now i just want to talk about my morning routine so when i go out of the shower i put my pants then i put my pair of trousers and i put my shirt i put my jacket you know i put on my cologne and I put on my socks, I put on my shoes, and I really get ready to go to the office. Next subject I have here. Walking from my house to the bus stop. That's fine. So I enjoy this short time. It's about 10 minutes in the maximum. I enjoy this time to talk in English. And I walk truth the sidewalk if it's possible and i talk in english i walk and i talk okay i talk in english just to to myself i talk some subject something without having a script about it but i talk in english to enjoy the time you know every free time is good to try and improve the language it's really good i recommend it to you Next subject, so then I, I reach the bus stop and I need to wait to the bus and sometimes there are many people around me and sometimes one of them starts some conversation and I'm friendly, I'm open at and when someone do, does that, I really keep it, I keep it having conversation, you know to make some friendship or something similar. Perhaps just a, a small talk, talking about the weather, talking about the politics, talking about some fact that happened in the last day and so forth. Okay, that's good as well. The time is getting over and perhaps I will need to stop it really without having finished this list. But that's fine because I talked about 30 minutes it's too much but i'm forcing myself you know i'm showing myself too and perhaps in the next video i will talk about the other things that i didn't talk okay i have more subjects here and that's good so i'm preparing myself to finish this video and i would like to talk about one important matter 
I discovered when I was watching my own videos, I discovered that I was talking too much thing. Thing, 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 And when I perceived that, I made a list with words that I may use to change the word things. For example, I may use matter, I may use subject, I may use fact, I may use item, I may use um, more um, words, points, and so forth. I have a list with many words and I'm trying quite hard, 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 harder than ever. Don't use frequently these words because this is a weaker word, you know? There are a lot of weaker words and we need to improve that. In the future, I may talk about that, but not right now. Okay, guys, this video is finished. It's over and I really hope that you appreciate it. You know me because I introduced myself to you, but to finish this video, I'm going to talk about my introduction. My name is Marcus, I'm a Brazilian guy, I am 37 years old, I am from São Paulo, I want to have an exchange program abroad, I came back to Brazil, I'm studying English until now, I will study English from here to the future, and so on and so forth. I hope to see you all in the future guys, bye bye and thanks for watching it.